it comes from these verses that we're reading that talk directly about Narayan and his different expansions. The principal evolver, who is both perceptible and imperceptible, is Vasudev. The imperceptible part of the Lord is endowed with dual powers and the perceptible with triple powers. Now is this making a little more sense? The three powers are the Shri Shakti, Mother Lakshmi, with Sattva Guna, Bhu Shakti, Mother Earth, with Raja Guna, and Nila Shakti with Tamaguna. Apart from the three, the fourth kind of Vishnu, influenced by Shri Shakti and Bhu Shakti, appears, assumes the form of Sankarshan with Tamaguna, Pradyumna with Raja Guna, and Aniruddha with Sattva Guna. So in other words, the Lord's energies in the spiritual world are two, internal and external. And in the external energy, there are three, goodness, passion, and ignorance. Okay, and in these various forms, he emanates these different energies according to the level of the creation, whether material or spiritual. And there's harmony there. There's symmetry there. I mean, it's really very beautiful. Uh, if I was more artistic, I would do some kind of a, a, a diagram with, with personal bodies instead of just a flow chart. <laughs> uh, but I'm not that talented. Maybe Krishna Prapti would think of, of doing some kind of a, a triptych or, I don't know, a sextic. <laughs> <laughs> with six panels showing all these different forms of the Lord. I mean, it's really, it could be done very beautifully, and I'm sure it has been done someplace. Uh, I've seen very complicated looking mandalas of the Lord with all his expansions, and, but that would be even more complex and difficult to understand than what I've already got. Huh? So <laughs> let's stick to simple flowcharts for now. But anyway, this is the uh, system behind Vedic astrology. That's why it's given in Bhagavatam. Uh, sometimes people ask, well, if, if Bhagavatam is, uh, the purpose of Srimad Bhagavatam is to describe the spiritual world or how to attain ultimate liberation from material existence, then why is there's such a detailed description of the material creation. Uh, why, why do we need to know that? And that's the same question that Uddhava asked earlier. And the reason is because it describes the jail. If we're going to get out of the jail, we have to know how it's constructed. We have to know also, in even more detail, uh, when the guards take their break. <laughs> when they're on duty, when the bad guards are on duty, and when the easy guards are on duty, uh, and uh, where the, uh, the loose bricks are in the wall, where the tunnels are and the secret doors. Uh, we need to know all this in detail, in so much detail that when it's actually time, we can take advantage of it to break out, get out of the jail. Uh, Actually, we can only get out of the jail if the warden wants us to. He'll arrange for the, uh, for the guards to be looking the other way. Uh, then we make our break. So, in some sense, we're guided to leave this material world. But in another sense, we have to do a large part of the work ourselves if only so that we can reach the conceptual platform where the uh, direct influence of the Lord is manifest to us. Just like we were talking earlier about becoming a musician. You have to go through so many experiences before you really find out what you want. Uh, and that's the spiritual side. On the material side, we have to understand how the material world is functioning so that we can understand where are the opportunities to get out. So both have to be there. Huh? Just like if we're going to escape from jail, we need some contacts on the outside <laughs> to come and pick us up. Huh? 
So even if we get out of the jail, if there's nobody, you know, if we're not, uh, don't have any collaborators on the outside, then how can we, how can we make it? So this process of astrology or the subject of astrology includes a complete structural knowledge of the material and the spiritual worlds. It has to. Just like we started in the beginning talking about the tree and the reflection of the tree in the water. Uh, if you don't know the, the, how a tree is normally, then when you see a reflected tree, it's not going to make any sense to you at all. It's going to be all scrambled and mixed up. Uh, so yes, the spiritual reality is all scrambled and mixed up by the waves of time in the material world. So if we know the original picture, then we can start to see how it's scrambled and why it's mixed up. Uh, and put together an idea of the original nature, the original spiritual world. And that way we can start to develop a desire for a particular type of liberation, a particular spiritual destination after this material existence.